my PM yelling. Alright, so what's your name? Where are you from? Uh, Terry King from Boston. Awesome. What does the sample's music mean to you? I've loved the samples for, for since I was, uh, God, like back in high school, back in like uh, 92. First turned on them and just, it's great music. It's great. So what would you say your favorite your favorite song by them is? Um, I think probably, uh, Love, Love, uh, Love Feel It Shaking, um, Love, uh, where do you think the sample's music fits in, in in this whole situation that we're having? It's great, like a lot of their lyrics uh, from, well it's great with samples of this, like a lot of their stuff from you know, years past still plays true to, to like our modern time, so it's fantastic. If you, th if you could solve the music of the samples in two words, what two words would you choose? Um, thought provoking. Samantha Saffer, I'm from Park City, Utah. Awesome. So what brings you out to Boston to see the samples? I, I, like to, I live in Boston now. Um, I live down the street, so... Oh, cool. Awesome. So, so how long have you been listening to the samples? I started listening to them in high school, and listened to them off in high school, drove cross country with them, and still listening. Awesome. So, like, uh, wh what, made you, what uh, made you get into the samples? Like, how'd you hear them? Academy and Western Mass, and they used to come play every so often, and uh, I don't know, they're, I like them. Um, so, so, uh, what do you think of the state of the world right now? Alright, <laughs> what's your favorite Sorry, sample favorite. song? What's your favorite sample song? Favorite sample A song. few of them. Um, do you have a look so nice? Um, I'm a big fan of Indiana from Driving Cross Country, and we used to listen to that song all the time when we had radio trips, and we'd each have to play a song with a skate involved, but that was our favorite one, so. Cool. If you could solve the music of the samples in two words, what would they be? Um, great music. That's my uh, creative words. I, they're, they're awesome. They're... My name is Liam from Western Mass. Uh, so what's your favorite sample song? Nothing lasts for long. Which and we played yeah. on my suggestion. Awesome. How does that apply to, to your life? Um, how do you bring to meaning to it to yourself? How, how do I like? How do you like bring how does it what does it mean to you? Like how does it relate to your life that makes you like it so much? Um, because I think it applies to everything. I mean everything. Awesome. Cool. Line All right, so what's your name and uh, where are you from? My name's Dan Dwyer. I'm from uh, Brooklyn, New York. So what brings you to Boston? Well, I'm actually in school up here, but... Oh. So, uh, so this was your first uh, sample show? Certainly was. Uh, had you ever heard them before? I had not. I've seen the bumper stickers all over town and wondered what it was all about. And now I know what it's all about. I'm planning on heading out to the, uh, the April show down in Boston. Awesome. So you had a good time tonight? Yeah, absolutely. Cool. So, what what are your what are some first impressions you have about Sean? Uh, incredibly talented musically, great voice, really uh, really brings the crowd into the uh, into the set. Plays a list that that the crowd really really gets into. You know, some old songs, some uh, some songs not his own that he that he puts a twist on. It's really really a good time. All right. So, what's your name? Where are you from? My name's Colin. I uh, I grew up in Pennsylvania. I went to school at Boston College, and I've been listening to samples pretty much since I started Boston College, which would be almost nine years ago, so a lot longer than I thought. And I came back to listen to them again. Tonight, I came here with a bunch of my college buddies, and you guys are going to cut this short anyway, but at the same time, I got up here and listened to these guys tonight with a bunch of my friends, and there's really not a lot of way to describe when music touches you the way it should. When you feel, when you feel the music, and it actually makes you connect with the people that you're with, and this is what happened tonight. You were able to like understand the music, feel the music, and connect with the people you're with at the same time without having to talk. And that's a great thing. It's an exciting thing. That was beautiful, by the way. Um, 
Um, so where did you first hear the samples? Like, wh what heard, situation? The first time I heard the samples, actually, I was a uh, freshman in college. My best friend upstairs, his twin brother introduced me to them. It was a, it was a demo tape, like you guys said. A demo tape way back in the day. And we went out to Michigan. We were driving cross country out of Michigan and stuck the samples tape in. And it was like, oh, it's just great, whatever. And we, well, we all kind of got into it. And when you hear music like that, I'm, I'm talking to the camera right now, so I'm not talking to a person, but I'm going to let you know. When you get into a position where you can be in symbiotic relationship with everyone else in the car, even if it's a fucking car, just to hang out and feel that way with people because music makes that happen, that's huge. It doesn't happen that often, and that's huge. And it happened with the samples, right? So you have to respect that. And I haven't listened for a long time. I went out and did the corporate thing. I experienced life outside of college. And at the same time, it came back tonight, and I really felt what I felt when I was in, when I was in college. It's an amazing experience, and it's good music, and you know that's when it's good music. And you don't want that to die. So whatever happens, whatever happens with this band, whatever happens with him, whatever happens with good music, know that at the end of the day, your music makes people feel a certain way. And as much as you may want to degrade that or not think about it or it happens all over the place, it's fine, but it, it really does make a lot of sense to people. And I appreciate that. I just want to thank whoever's listening to this. If you could sum up the samples in two words, what two words would you use? It's a tough thing to say, to give it up in two words, but I know you got some tapes, so. Maybe symbiotic, which is way too much of a vocabulary word, and the other way, just feel good. It's feel good music. And I, I love it. What's your name and where are you from? <laughs> My name is Megan and I am from Seacoast, New Hampshire. How did you first start listening to the samples? Um, well, my now ex-boyfriend um, popped a CD for me and, for me one night and played Feel of Shaking for me and I absolutely fell in love with it. And his response was, oh, you like them? They played last night right behind our house. So that was kind of depressing, but ever since then I've been hooked. So what are some of your favorite sample songs? Oh, too many to count. Feel of Shaking. All right, if you could sum up the music of the samples in three words, what would they be? Soundtrack to life. Was that rehearsed? <laughs> What's your name and where are you from? My name is Joanne, and I'm from Swampscott, Massachusetts. How did you start listening to the samples? Um, actually, a friend of mine years ago, I think it was about 96, she told me about the samples and she made me a mixtape and I listened to it once and I said, not my thing. And then um, about two years later, I left the topic in the car radio after seeing Spike and Ike, what's the Spike and Mike's crazy, um, um, what is Spike and Mike's, um, this is Eddie, by the way. Yeah, keep going, you sound good. <laughs> Spike and Mike's animated, um, whatever, it was a festival in um, Brookline, and I happened to pop it in the CD player, the tape player, and I was like, wow, I get it, you know, I finally got it, and then ever since then I've been... Well, you know, I don't either, but... So what are some of your, fa some of your favorite sample songs? Stroke some of my favorite sample songs, um, of course, above, above the Clouds, one of my favorites, it means a lot to me. What's one sample song you don't like? One song that I could retire, but I wish they could retire, would be probably... Little, Little Silver, Silver Ring. Ring. <laughs> Just a moment. In nature. In Indiana. <laughs> no more.
Okay, that's enough, Joanne. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, know. if you could have, if you could describe the music of the samples in two words, oh, two words. what would they be? Wicked cool. What's your name? And where are you from? My name is Tim Cohn. And I'm originally from Keene, New Hampshire. Okay, and Tim, how long have you been into the samples? I've pondered this a few times, and I think I just finally decided it was about 90, 98 or 99, late 98 maybe. Uh, I was listening to WEQX in Manchester, Vermont. Really? And uh, I heard them play Shine On, and I was totally, totally into it. And I went out and bought Outpost, and that, as they say, was the beginning. And it was all history from then, huh? You guys still doing the interview? Shit, sorry. <laughs> What are your favorite sample songs? Uh, um, hands down, Sacred Stones. Um, anymore. Why is that? What what what's what's so special about Sacred Stones for you? Sacred Stones. I think it it applies to so incredibly much uh, greater things than we could possibly ever imagine. That we could possibly ever comprehend, even if we could imagine. Mm -hmm. um, I think just knowing that it was written in a, in a time in in someone's life that was. Uh, are you laughing at me, Annie? I'm laughing at myself. I'm scratching my head. What do You're I next do though. next? I think it was knowing the fact that it was written at a time in someone's life that was that was an undesirable time, a really tough time to go through. And uh, I think even just knowing that that person was willing to share that such a personal moment mm -hmm. with, with millions of people, I think makes it that more special of a song and mm -hmm. makes it that more special of a songwriter. Mm -hmm. and, and speaking of, of hard times, what do you think of the state of the world now? I... I'm at a loss for words, I think it's... Uh, is there something that could help you? Is there something that can help you through these? Music. Tough. Exactly. Music, 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 art, expression. So, so much. Let me ask you one more question. Okay. If you could sum up the music of the samples in three words, what would they be? Megan really wants me to say Spongebob Squarepants, but I'm going to uh, not say that one. <laughs> Amazing inner peace. Beautiful. Thank you, Tim. Thank you. Your sound is so much better. here in Aspen and apparently I've been given 60 seconds at the end of this movie to uh, attempt to portray myself as uh, something other than a guy who yeah. would totally be comfortable on camera. Yeah. Yeah. Who are you, fellas? So we're, we're, who's the push stars? I'm going to push for us. This is terrible. <laughs> Trying to pick up the stick. <laughs> and he said, <laughs> if I ran out of things to say, pick this up. I'm just coming back from hiking, you see. Look, look at this. We do get to see things like this. This is nice. Even if you don't have a lot to do, you do get to see a lot of nice things. And this is
Alex signing off. See you. Uh, okay. It's good. It's good.
Wait, wait. wait. Yeah, we're did you ever look so nice? Yeah. Yes! Kenny, Sean, we met last week in Portland. It was awesome. All right. Yeah. Alex, Andy, I'll see you later. Wave. You're going to be on the video. That guy's shirt. What shirt? Right here. So.
So far.
do not own a truck. Well, I don't know if the paperwork says there. I don't own a GMC. Jesus! This is a tough landing! Roy, I'm, I'm losing your signal. The echo's down. The echo's down. I'm gonna go out there and check out the planet anyway. What is going on with this ship? He's up against the wall. See you a little later, Cat. Yeah, you gonna film Kurt Cobain's house? Yeah. Sam, 837. Okay, two of them, two of them, three. Okay. Um. Okay. No, this is happening. My name's uh, Seattle Police. Oh, and I'm nervous. No, her saucy troll right now in the Rainer Valley. And I found the samples uh, when they were playing at a little uh, outdoor theater next to the UMC in Boulder back in uh, 1990. And discovered that I really liked the music. 
I met uh, Sean Kelly after Billy Bragg played at the UMC. He'd opened, and uh, the people there were treating him pretty crummy. So I bought him a beer and followed the music religiously ever since. Been to countless shows. I stopped counting after 60 or so. And uh, I believe in their success. hospital in Portland, Oregon, with a view of scenic Mount Hood. Place in Portland, and uh, we're playing here tonight in Mike Wood's apartment, Mount Hood, looking out the window. There's some good. We're good. Okay, we're good. Yeah. Migrating. Just this would look like a tree. Okay. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay.
turning circles in my eyes It's only troubled times we found It gets too far to to it. We're going to take all the precautions necessary, but we need a referendum vote on if a couple of folks can smoke in the back with a window open tonight. Just for the night. <laughs> and he's off the bus. No one else really gives a fuck. <laughs> you know, we're just thinking, you know, you know, maybe it'd be a nice little celebration tonight. We wouldn't have to bring it to vote. Bring it to referendum. <laughs> uh, any takers? <laughs> 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 Can I say anything I want to right now? Samples kick ass. Am I want, can you sign my pics? Sure. Oh, I want you to the best. I want you to sign me. No, I have to look at you. You got me up there and I played the piano. You were so No, you were so awesome. You were so awesome. You were so awesome. Fat. So fat. You guys. Kick ass, you guys. Where are you from? Colorado. Colorado. Vermont. Colorado. New York in the house. Dance, come on. New York. I'm from a new fan, but I love you. You are great. I am a new fan. Remember her? Guys, you on um, Did you guys say how to the Bengals? I quit smoking like six months ago. I got you. Suck, 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 Yeah, that's what it was. The mean ass tour manager was making me stock the cooler. And, and what was his name? His name was Nick Betchel. Would that be? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he's got. Well, who's that guy? And I was just lightly setting some bottles in there, and a Corona bottle on the bottom exploded. We're ready. And caught my finger. We're fast. Cut it real bad. And you're just toughing it out. Well, you didn't go to the hospital. No, what am I also yeah, going to do? I mean, all it's going to do is heal. <laughs> and what's holding it in there? What kind of splint you got? Oh, the, the splint tech? I got in there? I got two of uh, Sean Kelly's guitar picks in there. I'll show you one right here. I got another one in my pocket. Yeah, well, I just got <laughs> Two of these Dunlop Tortex in there. Keeping it nice and straight. Nice. Yeah, hey, man, it would make a great commercial for Dunlop Tortex. <laughs> yeah. They mail in. Gonna be These are all my girlfriends. <laughs> Peace. What's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're making our own mid We're preparing for the...
spin around Dan. We saw some claw or something. We saw some claw marks down there. Oh my God! Right. I can hey, see it. Yes, we are. Yeah. Yeah. You are. Okay. Yeah. Crazy. He's great. Man, in the movie. Okay. I'm fucking it. <laughs> okay. You're going in to do. Hey, you like the mahi? Yeah. All right, the mahi. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How'd you like? Okay. How'd you guys like the band tonight? I was. Oh, the band. Dude, are you from Boulder? Hey. I was born and raised. I am. Okay. I think, uh, okay, when you're going from Denver and you're on the turnpike, okay, and you're going to Boulder. 36, right? Okay, all right, and you turn off yeah, to your really right, and you will hear <laughs> a crazy horse. Yeah. Ah! But, good question. Because, uh, you know, yeah. you know, you know, because, uh, my fucking school teacher is sassing that shit. Shotgun Willie's worth it at. Shotgun Willie's. 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 Instead of running it direct. Thanks. Oh, oh, I see. I see. Do you want to just stick sit down?
Francis. Playing in the forest, hopping in the grass. <laughs> okay. Yeah. School sucks. <laughs> samples are sweet. Yes. <laughs> the only good thing about UCSD is the samples are playing. Definitely. Definitely. They can see them twice in one day. What more could I ask for? Yeah. Maybe we'll go up to Ventura on Friday. <laughs> hey, you've been drinking again, buddy. Drinking again, buddy. Give it. 